I imagine the pile of debris and remains from the city has started to build up in the ocean below the city. Maybe one day it will breach the surface like a conglomerate garbage island. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even given that a thought, Barrett. That's, you're probably not wrong. And I'd imagine uh, they'll still find some way to capitalize on it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Starfield. So, we had uh, we had a little bit of a run in with Tomo over at the Terror Brew, didn't we? Um, but I've come back to the Raijin offices. I just realized as well, the name of this, uh, the name of this little task that we're on is Back to the Grind. Is that a coffee pun? <laughs> Did I find you out, Bethesda? Uh, okay, before we go and see Imogene, let's Taking a uh, break. see if Lane's got anything uh, new to say to us. Now we're officially in the Ryujin ranks. I got the memo from Imogene to add you to the system. Mm. So it sounds like congratulations are in order. You must have really nailed that interview. Thank you. Um, we seen you around. Didn't just nail it, I crushed it. I think Imogene was sick of interviews, that's probably fair. Uh, yeah, my, my first task was getting coffee. Not exactly where I aspire to be. We all start somewhere. Be thankful it's not a personal errand. Oh. My first day, Camden had me arrange an entire anniversary party for him and his partner. It was nothing short of incredible, of course. But talk about pressure. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to the dysfunctional family. <laughs> I like you, Lane. I think you tell it like it is. Okay, let's uh, head on through and see Imogene. So, <sighs> is... Ooh, hello. Is that some sort of boardroom or something? Interesting. Uh, is uh, that little running with Tomo kind of indicative of... Um... <laughs> oh, dear. The boss is waiting for her caffeine injection. Indicative of, of what the situation is kind of like around here is this your stereotypical sort of cutthroat corpo uh sink or swim sort of company with very shady underhanded dealings on the side i know that there's a number of field operatives around here as well as their uh, their handlers like uh what was your name it wasn't zane was it no rafiq mm, okay um yeah i i wonder sort of how that pans out and what exactly these these field operatives get up to. Anyway, Imogene, hi! Got your coffee! I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. I thought it'd be chewed out. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Uh, it's personal. Won't happen again. Something tells me there's no such thing as um, having personal issues that aren't fully submitted in triplicate to the company for their scrutiny. So uh, that's not going to fly. I ran into an ex-employee. I'd rather not... I kind of feel sorry for Tomo, um, <laughs> despite him throwing a weapon in my face. Uh, I, I do kind of see where he's where he came from in, um, well, practically shooting me on the spot in a coffee shop. Maybe I'm just a slow walker. I'm new here and got a little lost. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't find my way back. Silly me. I'll get the hang of it. A decent excuse, but not the answer I was looking for. Hmm. I know that Tomo Higashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew. And before you get any ideas, no, the barista didn't sell you out. Oh. Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. Deception hmm. aside, some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. <laughs> so, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? I'm a bit surprised. I'll admit I am. Uh, I'm a bit suspicious, to be quite honest with you, Barrett. Um, fumbled my way through the screening process with the worst possible answers. It feels like I got the interview by default from someone who really doesn't seem to actually give a toss about um, <laughs> what she was recruiting me for. Sent out to get coffee and then was promoted to a mysterious position. I've got a funny feeling there's something going on around here that needs a steady and constant supply of scapegoats. And I think I'm just the latest in the long line of them. So, no more coffee shop errands? No more coffee errands, but depending on how you look at it, the word errands technically still applies. Hmm. Not sure I like that. Not sure I like that smirk either, Imogene. Um, okay, tell me about this new position that I've apparently earned. 
Let me explain. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The oh. position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Add influence. Uh, so I'm, I'm a future spacefaring influencer now. <laughs> Something tells me that influence comes in the flavor of um, threats and waving weapons in faces. Yeah, what do you mean exactly by add influence? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. Hmm. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Right. And how am I supposed to ensure success? Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. Yeah, so You're basically coming. removing obstacles from the equation. Hmm. It's a very um, diplomatic way of putting it. Okay, so why is this position confidential? <laughs> this is all pointing towards me being disposed of at a later date. Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Mm. Alright then, let's jump into this new role. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Goody gumdrops. Right, so I need to meet Camden Chow, Alexis Price, Lyndon Calderi, and Genevieve... Was that Monaghan, I think it was, before it disappeared? Uh, anything more that you can tell me about my my new esteemed role? Or perhaps the uh, the dragon sitting around the table there. Well, don't just stand there. So, you knew... Did you know that Tom was going to be at the Terror Brew when I went? Tomo's appearance was an interesting coincidence. I can see how it may have looked like a test of some sort. But sadly, no. We had nothing to do with that. Besides, initially firing him. Mm. Okay, why was he fired? Tomo Higashi was a technician here for years. He desperately wanted to be an operative. The truth is, he was getting overzealous in proving himself. He started writing up his own theories as facts and submitting them in his reports. Oh. It was only a matter of time before one of those theories proved wrong, and once we launched an investigation, it was all over for him. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I kind of get it. It, it. He's He was providing sort of the field intelligence for some of the operatives, I guess. So, what exactly do you do around here? My job is to oversee the field operatives such as yourself. I get the sad job of sorting through the files that our technicians have put together so I can prioritize them according to departmental needs. Finally, I assign them to the operative most suited. Hey, now the party can get started. Finally. <laughs> um, okay. That was slightly random. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'd love to have a sneak through her computer, but I don't think she's going to take too kindly to that. Okay, so, um, we're, we're still finishing off the whole coffee boy errand. Excuse me, security bit bop. Your next assignment can't start soon enough. Follow me. Let's talk some more. Okay, so, uh, this here is indeed a conference room. Hello! Hi! Asher, junior operative, um, coffee boy. Oh, wait, you've already got tea here. Oh, I could just keep these coffees to myself, I guess. Right, who wants a bit of me first? You look keen. Genevieve Monaghan. Uh, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Okay, so you're probably the, the most level-headed human in this place, I would guess. Um, you're the one keeping Ryogen in the public's good graces. There's like a lot to manage. Marketing must be easy here. Ryogen tech sells itself. Uh... This could be interesting, actually, about the good graces. Would be interesting to, to sort of pick her brains if she's had to um, hurriedly sort of turn public opinion on something that has gone awfully wrong. Yeah, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Uh, oh. 
What, is, what do you mean by that? Clean up, of course. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together. And I get the pleasure of making sure those connections are never made. Or, if they are, handling the fallout. Hmm. Um, I'm new at this, so I might need some forgiveness. You care about results, not methods. Uh, yeah, don't, don't you panic about me. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. <laughs> On that topic, <laughs> uh, seeing as I'm now a junior operative, I think I might need to be engaging in a little bit of sneaky schnoo. Uh, it, would, would, would that be right? Would that be, would that be about... Nobody's forthcoming. Um, which means, uh, yeah, preparations. Uh, if we do get a sneaky new mission, Barrett, I'm afraid you're waiting at the ship. <laughs> I'm not risking having anyone with me, because it usually goes completely tits up. Hello, who are you? Lyndon Calderi? Ah, coffee. That's You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often. That's what I said! Terrebrew it is. We're going to get along famously. Um, so, yeah, Ry why does Ryujin run tranquility? For the past five years. Tranquility is a recent acquisition, and we've only just begun to develop the brand. You may have seen how several vendors carry the product now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, any any sort of profit is good profit, I guess. Um. Yeah, why <laughs> is Ryujin possibly eyeing up Terrabrew as well? Terrabrew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terrabrew within the next five years. Mm. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. <laughs> which hopefully won't be often. I've got a funny feeling we'll be talking quite regularly, Lyndon. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry in advance. Um, well, there goes my pay. <laughs> so the pay gets reduced whenever I make mistakes. Yes, mistakes are often costly and involve substantial cleanup, both literally and figuratively. Law enforcement, witnesses, evidence, everything has its cost. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think we're going to be talking quite often. The expenses aren't as extreme as you may think. We limit them. The intent is to discourage, not dishearten. This introduction was not annoying. Thanks. I hope our future encounters are as productive. You know what, I classify you as not annoying as well. Good day, sir. Um, that's a, rather, that's a rather thick television. I thought this was the future, damn it. Okay. Uh, who have we here? You are Camden Cho. So, fetching coffee one minute and junior operative the next. Tell me about it. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Hmm. Uh, so what exactly do you do as supply chain manager? I have the glorious job of keeping all the departments supplied with exactly what they need. Anything from rare materials for R&D to slates and design software for marketing. You could say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure I had to read into that. Uh, supply chain manager doesn't sound all that glamorous. I'm not going to badmouth the guy when I just met him. Barista said she triple-checked the grind herself. Uh, okay. Interesting to throw coffee talk in there. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know if I need any pens or stationery. <laughs> Very funny, but not untrue. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. Mm. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Hmm. I wonder if you genuinely believe that, or if that's just the spiel you've been uh, churning out for years. So, what benefit does Ryogen have for millions? Well, NeuroAmps for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So there are... He seems to be quite genuine. Maybe, uh, maybe there's elements at least to Ryujin that aren't so bad. Uh, okay, um, yeah, what's the 
I'm going to see the dark side. What's the bright side to corporate espionage? I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. I'll, uh, I'll keep all that in mind. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Uh, it, it's fine. I, I didn't actually pay for it. Uh, okay, and you must be Alexis Price. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. I'm over here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like what you see. <laughs> uh, it's not creepy or anything. Um... <laughs> Right, she's obviously a little bit cocky. Let's throw it back at her. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and uh -oh. I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Um... Who do you prefer to abuse? Or should I not know? Uh, okay, uh, what connections do we have with the Freestar Rangers? For one, our connections with Bayou automatically grant us a slight connection with the Rangers. He has some amount of influence with his seat on the Council of Governors. But our strongest connection is local, with Ranger Price. Hmm. I've met Ranger Price a few times. Uh, yeah, there you go, I know him. Yes, you have quite the history with the Free Star Rangers yourself. Oh, you've done your homework. Which is why I hope you won't be an issue. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll do what's necessary, thank you. Unfortunately, I can't argue with that. Completing your assignment is the priority. Just be aware that some of us still have to suffer the consequences. Okay. Right, um, pleasure meeting you all. Um, I think. Come on then, Barrett. Head back to Imogene. Oh. Stairs of her sissies. Hello, right, I've met the crew. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. <laughs> I'll be impacting them. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Uh, right, I've been told how much work I could create for them if I'm not careful. Basic theme was don't get caught. I have a feeling I won't be getting along with most of them. No, uh, most of them seemed all right, actually. It was just that last one that uh, was a, a little bit um, fraught. Yeah, I, I, I understand that uh, I could be piling work on their desks. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's Ooh. get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Right. Kelt Corp. Do I know Kelt Corp? I don't think I... Re oh, wait, hold on. I think I saw them on one of the signs in the uh, the main Neon Tower. Kelt Corp must be desperate if they resorted to illegal activity. It's like a job for Neon or Freestar Security. <laughs> That's going to go down well. First assignment, I'm trying to palm it off. Um, yeah, they've got to be desperate. Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. Oh, okay. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Right. So, what? Slide my way in, upload a virus and get out? Okay, how do I actually get to the computers? That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. Hmm. Something about skinning cats. Okay, so what's on the data slate? Think of it as a lesson that Kelt Corp gets to learn the hard way. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a bit trivial for me, but I suppose I can spare the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, do you know what? I'm not actually all that bothered about uh, success in this role. I've kind of got bigger fish to fry. This is just a little bit of a side distraction whilst I, I let everything settle inside my brain. So... Let's have a bit of fun while we're here. Yeah, I suppose I can spare the time for your corporate espionage run. <laughs> I should hope so, considering this is your job, not a favour. 
Here's the data slate. Good luck. Hmm. And we've got a couple of digipics as well. Nice. Right, we need to track down this uh, kelp port by the looks of it. Let's have a little sneaky looky at what is actually on that slate. Oh, it cannot equip. Uh, cannot equip, cannot look into it. I suppose that makes sense. It's a computer virus. Unless I was going to go through uh, sifting through lines of code, it's, it's probably not uh, not worth my time looking. Keep out of my way and Do I'll I know keep you? out of yours. No, you're just, just waiting for more info. Just an operative. Okay. Oh, can I uh, access this mission board? No, senior operatives. Rubbish. Well, let's have a little look around the rest of this here. Uh, this here floor. Let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah, I had a nose in here before, didn't I? Uh. Oh. Okay. What's this? This doesn't actually go anywhere, and I can't open. I can't open that. Great. That's terribly sad. I was hoping I might have been able to get uh, access to those two inaccessible offices back there, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Camden's computer. Oh, but of course. They're all still in the uh, the meeting room, aren't they? Well, uh, Barrett, do you have to? <laughs> I'm trying to be all stealth-like. Right, uh, you keep a lookout. I'm going to be engaging in corporate espionage and sneaky snoo, then uh, I might as well... Oh. Oh, okay. It's actually... That's the first computer that I've come across that's locked from within. Interesting. Okay, so that goes there. And there. You go. Uh, there and there. Lovely. Right, so Camden. Camden was the... Uh, he was the procurement, the, um, the logistics guy, wasn't he? Right, announcements. Andy Opala, paid time off? This is your quarterly reminder to be aware of your paid time off. Per policy, your paid time off does not roll over or get paid out at the end of the year. It's your responsibility to use this time wisely before it expires. PTO is non-negotiable. Uh, non any costs, any questions, okay. Regular HR stuff. From same guy, privacy policies. Effective immediately, we're making the following adjustments to our policy regarding social interactions with news media. Only approved marketing employees may issue public statements regarding any aspect of the corporation. Makes sense. Any contact from a news media outlet must be reported to marketing immediately. And approvals for news media interaction must be sent to Genevieve Monaghan, Carlo Vaughan, that's a new name, Alexis Price, and Dalton Fines. That's another new one. Okay. Messages. Yuko Serrano. So this is Yuko that I've heard so much about. Um, but, oh, What was the name? Gen Genevieve? No, it wasn't Genevieve, was it? Whatever her name is, my boss, <laughs> the one I probably should know by name. Um, she keeps on saying that Yuko's missing at the moment. Supply request. Hi, Cam. Uh, I know you like people to go through the proper channels, but I really need a new computer set up for Tomo's old station. Dalton's already secured his current one, and we're looking to hire someone new ASAP. Hoping you can expedite this for your fellow peer. Uh, Ularu Chen. Camden, it's been brought to my attention yet again that you're being too vocal with your opinions on Neon's administrator. Ooh, hello, bad-mouthing Benjamin Bayou. Please keep in mind that we have several people working here with ties to Bayou, and things said in the office often find their way back to him. You know the importance of our relationship, and I expect you to respond professionally whenever business may be associated with him. Uluru Chen, Chief Operating Officer. Ooh. Uh, shipment confirmations. I need the confirmation numbers for a series of shipments. Um, some weapons, audio slates, and neuro... Your Careful not to lock us out of the system. I know you know that, though. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> I was just spying on emails, and um, emails have been read. There was Don't nothing particularly trouble. interesting. Uh, hello, who are you? Supply chain disruptions in the Cheyenne system? Mr. Cho won't be happy about that. Hmm. In Cheyenne? Uh... Right, nice little break area, but nothing of interest by the looks of it. Nobody has left behind any confidential slates. How boring. Uh, let's see. That uh, is where I came in. Where does this go? Ooh, this, that's the set of stairs that I accidentally stumbled my way through when I came up from the, uh, the drone level. I let's warned see. people that Toma was unstable. And look what happened. Ooh, does that mean one of these... No. <laughs> I was going to say, what, what is this? is mine. I think I found something. Ooh. But it's sensitive. 
Do you have time to talk? It's about that <clears throat> special project we're working on for Miss Salzo. In a, what are you doing? doing? Tell could blow a whole operation out of the water. Follow me. Let's talk some. Right, it's lots of hush hush talk, and uh, none of it seems particularly uh, pertinent to anything. Uh, so, <laughs> somebody throwing desktop ornaments around. So the, those are the stairs that go down to drone. Uh, little maintenance area. Hello. Uh, interesting. Right, can't open that. That's two access points to a ventilation system that we've found now that don't open. Get the impression that we're going to be sneaky snooing our way through those uh, a little bit later on. Okay, there doesn't seem to be much of interest. Ooh, I wonder if this might be... That's my workstation. Ooh, bloody nice screen on it. Okay, let's... Uh, let's stop nosing around the office hey, space and see if I can't get my way through to... Uh, so I was heading to Kelt Corp, wherever that might be. So if I am correct, I think Kelt Corp... What's that? Neon Security HQ. Okay. I think Kelt Corp is in the main tower. Ah, there we go. Kelt Corp. I knew I spotted it somewhere. So that, I assume, is going to be accessed through this elevator? Have a little look. There we go. Kelt Corp. You'll do. Wow. Isn't this swanky posh? Very cool. Lots of minerals there. So what is what exactly is Kelcorp? Is it some sort of mining operation? Is this a is this a competitor to Argos as well? Lovely day for it. Hello. Uh, hi. Again. Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I think you, you've got me mixed up with somebody else. Oh. oh, I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't here about Mr. Okadibo's debt to Kelkor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. You could start by looking me in the eye when you're talking to me. Okay, uh, so, sorry, dial it back. This Mr. Uh, Oka Digbo? Why would he hire people to represent him? I'm not sure. I think he's afraid that I won't be here. You'll have to deal with me, father. Someone who has a lot less patience than I do. Your father? Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. So I snapped at you like that. I thought he'd done it again. Sorry, can I just ask Chloe or Clover, whatever you're going by, um, are you actually Irish or Scottish? Because I can't quite tell. You seem to be merging the two together. Uh, anyway, um, right. And perhaps I should be wearing a name tag. Uh, no, uh, no apology necessary. It's fine. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. Uh, okay, the Neon Mining League. I've actually seen that out on the main dragon, Neon. I, I, I've no idea what it is. It's a shop over in Akuchi Market. You know, the plaza next to Ryujin Tower? They sell all sorts of mining supplies and raw materials. It's a fine little shop, well stocked and immaculate. Mr. Okadibo is the owner. He's a lovely, ah. lovely man. But his aspirations are one grav jump longer than his business instincts. Okay. Uh, would you mind not sort of wavering around and, and cleaning that desk? You're making me seasick. Okay. Um, it must be a hell of a mess to cause such a fuss here. If only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. You've mentioned Frankly, him twice now. I don't now. know how much longer I can stall. I wonder if her father's the boss, perhaps. Okay. Um... Right, why, uh, oh yeah, would you mind telling me more about your father? Perfect. Niall. Oh, he's the CEO of Kelp Corp. Mm. The whole blessed thing. If you asked him, he'd claim he started the company with next to nothing and built it into a mega corp in under 30 years. Truth is, he tends to forget the multi-million credit trust he tapped into as a crutch. Mm. But that's my father for you. Okay, um, and I should call you Chloe. Because my father has a ridiculous sense of humor, and I can't stand the name Clover. I mean, seriously, Clover? 
Our family's Irish, for God's sake. Oh, that clears that one I don't up. I think he could have possibly been more on the nose with that name. Ha ha, very funny, Dad. Hmm. Okay, um, right, so are you in charge of the... Ooh, the Kelcorp Neon Office. So her father might not even be based here, but are you in charge of this uh, this particular outpost? For now, but let's not mistake my position for what it really is. A test set up by my father. He's set to retire in a few years, and I'm his only next of kin. But I'm guessing he's not sure if I'm ready to take over the company. So he shuttles me out here for two reasons. One, to flash a friendly face for our clients he flies out here as a perk. And two, gets his firebrand of a daughter as far away from him as possible. He's a real piece of work. Huh. Okay, not all Hamily, fa ha Hamily families. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, um, what can you tell me about Kelcor? Having a bit. We're a tech company that primarily specializes in mining operations. Thought so. We handle everything from individual standalone units to fully engineered outpost systems. Basically, if it's made of rock, our gear chews it. Might not be as glamorous as some of the other corps in this building, but it pays the bills. Uh, it pays for a lot more, judging by the decor of this place. It looks like you're doing okay. Right, um, do you need a hand in, in recovering this debt? You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Um kind of you to stick up for him in the first place it, actually yeah she she does seem like she's going out on a bit of a limb to help this guy um like he's taking advantage of your goodwill mm, possibly have you ever considered it no you've got it all wrong saburo uh, i mean mr okadigbo first name basis he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet especially in this city he really needs help but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Hmm. Okay. Are you... Do you have an attachment to Saburo? That is a rather personal question. And I would prefer we kept things professional. If you don't mind. You haven't even seen my face yet. How <laughs> can you claim to be keeping things professional? Um. I could stop by and have a word. Oh. That'd be splendid. Just amazing. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. <laughs> and don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. Right. Okay. Um, how, how did he end up in so much debt? When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash he didn't have. Obviously, business hasn't been going well, because he's fallen way behind on his payments. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably <laughs> wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. A poor man. I can imagine mining types probably only come to Neon for rest and relaxation when they're not going to be carrying around the company credit card with them nice visiting with you oh now you look at me oh, great okay fine uh right so uh, yeah i called it they are uh, a bit of a mining operation by the looks of it uh so i need to get through to the computer systems to upload a certain little package hello there hi sorry i'm busy at the moment i can see that I'm glad I ended up at Keltcorp. Miss McKenna treats her employees like family. Yeah, oh, I know her so well. Me and uh, Miss McKenna go back years, so she doesn't mind if I take a look around. Okay, what have we got here? Meeting room? Hello. Uh, ooh. Very well stocked meeting room. <laughs> I think I prefer this one over the Ryogen one. Um, <clears throat> I didn't say anything. I don't work for Are Ryogen. You lost? Uh, I'm I'm on the guided tour. I'm just looking for my guide. Uh oh. Uh, there's guards. Close enough. Hi. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's neon. Good cover up. I believe you. Won't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> you did it in that corner, didn't you? Right. Oh. Oh. Wonder if that's the uh, the sort of computer that I'm uh, I'm after. How in the world? How in the world with surveillance and the room the filled day? with people? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. 
It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Mm -hmm. mm. One of those days, huh? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrebrew right now. Why don't you do that? Yeah. Why don't you take the rest of the I'll office with you? We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. Okay, that's two of them. Hi, hello. Enjoy your coffees. Right, that's two. Hmm. Still got two more and a guard to get rid of. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Don't let me stop you. What? I'm working here. You could start with turning the computer on. Oh, hello. Who are you? Where do you come from? Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Okay, cool. Uh, you better get to it then. Let me just double check. Is this the computer that I need to be accessing? I'm thinking it is. Yes, it most definitely is. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to do it with these uh, with these chumps here? Is there? Huh. Not a fire Seems alarm like that I can pull. Is there? Is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the setter system. Oh, you don't they say! Don't I've I've heard of them crimson fleeters. Horrible bunch. Um. Hmm. Clover uh, McKenna at your service. Hi, Chloe. Something I can do for you, love. Oh, good. You're back to cleaning. Okay. Tough city. You watch yourself out there. Thanks. Hmm. Right. Let's have a little Are look at it. Are you supposed to be here? Uh, Chloe said it was absolutely fine. In fact, she invited me. Right. Do you know any way I could get this floor, like, cleared so no one's here? Oh, hello. Data slate there. Hi. Are you supposed to be here? Uh, I'm glad I ended up at Geld Corp. Ms. McKenna treats her employees like family. Clover McKenna's diary? <laughs> Chloe left a diary behind? Wait, hey, hold on. So this is this is Clover's cubicle? Are you supposed to be here? Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Everybody's got a deadline, but... If no you'll excuse computers. me, I have a deadline to meet. Oh, oh my god. Go and meet it then. Right, let's see. I have to admit, this business with Saburo is keeping me up at night. Ooh. I can see how it's starting to wear on him personally and professionally. Saburo is a good and honourable uh, 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 man. Pride won't allow him to escape my money, but what he doesn't understand is the game is rigged. Even in good times, variable interest rates are designed to landslide you. All I want is to give him a fair shake. I may not believe in every idea he has, but I believe in him. He just needs a financial partner who can offer some direction. Someone who has his best interests at heart. I won't lie, given my position, it may be a conflict, but my feelings for him aside, I really do want to help. Right. Tell Saburo about Clover's feelings. Oh, Could I? That's, like, majorly meddling, but <laughs> sounds good anyway. Um, If I'm taking on this little side mission to help out Chloe, I do feel kind of bad for... Uh... Queue for a cup of coffee right about now. You're the one person on this floor who's armed, and you're saying you're killed for a coffee. Doesn't bode well. I'm going to leave that to him. I'm wondering. I feel like <laughs> I might uh, just help this little love story along. I'm going to go and pay a visit to the uh, uh, Saburo's mining store and um, see if I can have a little word with Saburo. Because I'm wondering whether maybe the outcome of that helps us in some way. Maybe not necessarily clears the entire floor out, but uh, maybe it gives us the opportunity to sneak through and get into that computer. So, I believe... Uh, no, it wasn't that end. I believe I've seen this store. I think it's on the corner to the left here. Uh, here we go, Mining League. Wonderful. This is the Burroughs place. See? I told you. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? It's a fair question. Exactly. I can't believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months before this loser packs it in. Ah, uh, don't be such a jerk. We should look around and see if there's something we can buy. Yeah, sure. You want to waste your credits? You go right to head. Not the vote of confidence from the... Uh... The punters, by the looks of it. Ooh, what's this? Thought it was a thing. I'm guessing this is Saburo? Hello. Don't forget, we sell all types of raw materials as well. 
Welcome, welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Um, okay, what exactly do you deal in here? Isn't it obvious, my friend? I sell mining supplies of all shapes and sizes, as well as many, many hard-to-find types of ore. Everything I sell is carefully portioned, securely created, and ready to be delivered right into the cargo hold of your ship. Hmm, okay. Um, with a location like this, that's quite a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd love to know what you were thinking when you actually came up with this business plan. The first time I'd laid eyes on this building, I felt the same way. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pockets empty and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. Um, so if nobody offers a hand, like, I don't know, a, um, a corpo interest with a cash injection, then what's going to happen? I don't know, my friend. I suppose I would be at Neon's mercy. Just another failed dreamer, walking the streets and living in a sleep crate. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a tough break. If only I had someone, perhaps like yourself, that would be able to assist me, I might be able to get back on my feet. Um, I can do to help save your store. Uh, yeah, what, were you, what sort of help were you thinking? You would do that for a total stranger? I didn't say that. Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Uh, right. You're sending me pamphleting. <laughs> okay. Um, otherwise... You what? Closed doors? I would be at Neon's mercy, living in a sleep crate and walking the streets, I'm sure. But with your help, perhaps I can avoid such a fate? Hmm. Um, what exactly are you hoping to get out of the other store owners? Many in Neon keep to their own, and I believe this is why we fail. James Newell and his Merchant Alliance friends are on the right track, but all they do is spend their time complaining never solving yeah we've run into we them we must unify band together and help each other out then when one of us falls the others can reach down and help him rise from the dust in the meantime we would refer people to each other's shops perhaps even promote sales together it would benefit us all i can see how that would work uh yeah it does i don't know if i want to go pamphleting though <laughs> i suppose i could plus there's still a few places on the main drag that i've not visited yet Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Hmm. I suppose we can do that. I suppose doing a good turn for a businessman here might sort of outweigh the nastiness that we're probably going to get up to with Ryogen. Uh, so, listen, Chloe over at Kelt Corp has offered to pay off your debt. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Wow. Fair play to you, sir. You're a good man. That was very level-headed. Um, okay. Uh, is, is there any hope to actually save the business, like, legitimately? Yeah, I mean, interesting idea with the pamphlet, but I don't think, I don't think that's going to quite do it. It has been a struggle, my friend. I'm hoping that some last-ditch efforts will help turn things around. But I don't have much time. The clock is ticking and the debt is mounting. Hmm. Uh, oh, I've got a slate that you might want to take a look at. Just came across it in an office somewhere. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. Oh, oh bless. Um, yeah, no, she, she definitely has a thing for you. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> what I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. 
Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. Oh, wow. Okay, that did actually help him out. Nice. Um, so, uh, are these feelings going both ways, I, I, I detect? I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. Good for you. I know they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. <laughs> um, so aside from the whole mining equipment on a planet without any actual land mass, why do you think your business isn't doing too well? Listen to me, my friend. I hear what the people say on the street. They call me crazy for opening a mining business on an ocean world. I was aiming so much higher, hoping to attract these space travelers passing through the Volai system on their prospecting journeys. It was stupid to assume I could corner the market on mining supplies and raw materials without a solid foundation. And by God, I've paid the price. Mm. Uh, what are you selling, by the way? Certainly, my friend. Let's see, what have we actually got? Weapons, cutter, that makes sense, and a rivet gun. Uh, spacesuit, <laughs> another deep space mining spacesuit, makes sense. Yeah, and of course, yeah, it makes sense that it's all sort of rocks and stuff. Farewell, my friend. What he specializes tell in. Tell everyone we have plenty of mining supplies in stock. Oh, uh, right, that's sealed off. Okay. Yeah. Not, uh, not a lot else to take notice of here, I guess. Right, let's head back. Uh, Chloe. Welcome <laughs> to Keltpur. Yeah, you're, uh, you're probably going to hate me for this. If you're here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Um, no, a bit of an update from Saburo. He's agreed. That's fantastic. I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In mm. any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. Nice. Cool couple of K for that one. Right, this does bring us back, however, to the uh, yeah, the main issue at I hand. I see you wearing that neuroamp. Don't try and have that mind control voodoo on me, pal. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Oh, he's still at his desk. He's still at his desk. Uh, right, I think the only thing that I can do is just give it a go. Um, are you going to stay put there? Yeah, you are. Who? Uh, I could do with waiting until that guard has actually walked out. I'm just thinking, that that fella's looking the other way. He's, he's Like he says, he's terribly, terribly busy studying the uh, contemplative Rhodes poster on the wall. Um, and that one has got a divider. Oh, no, they, they actually haven't. Wait, he looks like he's falling asleep. Uh, am I really hidden? I think I actually might be. Okay. Let's give this a go. Nice. And it's only a novice lock. Brilliant. So, uh, you are outside. Now let's throw you in there. That can pair off with that one. And then, uh, let's slot you in. You're going to go not there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Marvellous. I do feel kind of bad, seeing as I've just um, set Chloe up with uh, um, helping out her, her romantic interest. Now I'm going to potentially sabotage her office. So, shipping order status. What have we got? Orders in progress. Consolidated mining. Uh, six sisters mining. Okay, that's fine. Boring. Upload. Here we go. Auto run initiated. Executing. Uploading EXE. Cool. Turn to Imogen. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't touch anything. This computer? No, no. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I thought that was uh, I thought that what? was a guard running I'm towards me. Here. Right, bye, Chloe. See you later, Chloe. Barrett, come on. <laughs> okay. Cross the expanse, back to Ryujin, back to the boss. Just stopped in at the trade authority because uh, I realised I still got an absolute crap ton of stolen items in my inventory. So I've just done the the whole laundering thing by selling and buying them all back. 
Um, and it looks like this is one of the places that Saburo wanted me to drop a leaflet off. So while I'm here, not interested. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> that was very blunt. Um, you don't want the cross promotion opportunity. Nah, I don't think I want to get mixed up in that. Right. Oh. If you uh, find anything else, make sure you bring it to me. Right, got it. So I guess um, we we did get an objective to actually deliver the pamphlet from Saboro to five different businesses. I guess there's more than five businesses here, so we've just got to keep on offering them to uh, to several different places until we find the five that might accept it. Okay, I mean, this is fine. Let's go and report back to HQ. So that virus, I don't think it's really going to screw much this up. It's not isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. And that's what I was afraid of. I just hate accessing the Combatech database. It's anxiety inducing. Combatech database? I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece right there. All right, I'll get on it. Ooh, twins! Hmm, anyway. What is Combatech it? database? Look at that plays a part later on. Hi, uh, Imogene. Uh, job done. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? A little bit of matchmaking on the side, but apart from that, yeah, it went smoothly. Um, yeah, are you sure you don't already know? A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Fair enough, I guess. Um, ooh, straight to business. Yeah, how about we talk payment first? If you think you have any power of negotiating your pay, think again. Besides, payment is based off performance. So let's hear it. How'd that first job go? It's not pushing anymore. She's likely to get a little bit arsy with me. Um, yeah, went well. Um, but it's gonna be expected, no incidents. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, Setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Mm. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. I understand when my pay is at threat, yes. Okay, if you want clean work, you never should have hired me. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't transpire. You can't seriously expect me to be flawless in a job like this. Um... Don't worry, my work's as clean as it gets, and that's a pinky promise. And I hope it stays that way. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Ooh, framing, eh? Um, and cyber mischief, well... Hey, uh, have been known to be mischievous from time to time. Something of a cyberpunk, it's been said. Framing. I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Oh, Laredo Arms. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and oh. accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Oh, this is where it starts to get a bit scummy. Oh, I don't know if I like that. They're an Aquila company. And they're Freestar, and they're very mom and pop. Okay, uh, where exactly do I need to leave this evidence? Just somewhere where it can be discovered, I guess. The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Factory, then? Filing cabinets, desks. I trust you can be smart about it. Okay. So, what are the parameters of this assignment? We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Don't worry, I'm going to try and keep the violence down to an absolute minimum. Perhaps even none. Um, yeah, it's my backyard. I don't want to go messing it up. Okay. Laredo's arms are going to look... Oh, I, don't, I don't like the idea of doing over Laredo, but fine. Yeah, I'll make sure it gets done. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. 
So at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. And she keeps showering us with digipics. I can, uh, I can get on board with this. Right. Well, I want to have a look at that slate, Barrett. But um, yeah, let's let's try and do this as as carefully and discreetly as possible. Uh, yeah, as would I, to be fair. Let's get out of eye shot and then see what uh, see what that slate actually contains. Can we read this one. Confidential files. No, we can't. Rubbish. Okay. I better do this right. I don't want Yuko breathing down my neck about it. I wonder if this Yuko is actually going to make an appearance in the end. Okay. Come on, Barrett. Back to the ship. Back to Aquila. We've arrived back in Aquila City in the dead of night, so um, I, I don't. It's probably not going to give us any advantage whatsoever because the entire operation is going to be indoors. But hey ho! Now, if I remember rightly. It looks like a quaint town, but it's got problems as big as any other city. Of course, this is the first time that I've actually been through Aquila City with you, I think, isn't it, Baron? Interesting. Laredo should be down here on the right. Here we go. Now, I, that's the thought. I actually helped Laredo out once, didn't I? When uh, when that person was um, creeping their way through their warehouse. Now we're going to go and... <laughs> We're going to go and do a little bit of uh, sabotage. The okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm stood on this sofa. I'm uh, pleased you chose hi there. to visit us today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd watch your words if I were you. You won't be when you find out why I'm here. Miss Lance is the one you want to speak to. I'm sure she is. Um, just you see, a, can't be that bad, can it? Ju just a quick inspection of the um, of the the facilities here. All right, restroom. Let's see that. I I think... I don't know, where does that go? It's staff only, is it? Personal protective equipment. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that's locked. That goes out. Yeah, that's the side door that that um, cheeky thief was escaping through before. <sighs> well, a novice lock here. Is this going through restricted access? Is that going through to the production floor, maybe? All right, let's see if I can't pick a room. Uh, oh, no indication of what's going where. These two are identical, though, so that's rather handy. Uh, you there. And wait, that can't be right. There's only four gaps on the outside of this one, so it's got to be that. And that. So there, and then these two line up nicely. Wonderful. Oh, oh, it's storage. I wasn't expecting that. I thought this was going to be some sort of secret room. Okay, fine. If I remember right, there's... Uh, hmm. Confidential... Yeah, employees only. Ooh, hello. Roof access as well, by the looks of it. Interesting. Um, Barrett? Mind staying here? Oh, good. Story time. Right ho, Captain. Uh, I'll be right back. Um, just uh, hold the fort while I'm gone, eh? Okay. Super duper secretive staff area. Ah, uh, slightest little twitch in movement drops my cloaking ability. That makes me terribly sad. So I need to really watch out for. Uh, Anyone who's around. Now, Imogen did say. Oh, hello. Did say filing cabinets should suffice, so. Oh, great, but I can't actually access that. Wonderful. What about this one? Oh, there's an office on the left. There's a computer in there as well. Oh, man. Wait, where can I actually stash this thing? Can I, can I get into this office? Oh, that's that's locked. Oh my god! I feel like I'm really pushing my luck here. That's outside. That's inside. Okay, this that one. Let's go there. Which means that must be there. 
Uh, you're there. And you go there. Now, I don't know whether unlocking this door in such close proximity to, that guy, to the guy sat at the desk is going to alert him. You're done? But I am cloaked. Impressive. Why is he shouting up the stairs? Be quiet, Baron. Nope, we got away with that one by the looks of it. Now, is there anyone actually in this office? This is the problem. Whoa. Really thought I heard someone moving now. Okay, I think we're good. So is this, uh... Is this the big boss's office? Was it was the name Rainer, was it? Steal from? Have a little look while we're here. Oh god, he was looking straight at me then. You're inside. So let's see, you're gonna go... You're gonna go either there... Or there. Which means... Uh... One of these two has to go in the remaining slots because we've got one, two, three. So this two piece one has to go on the outside ring, which can only go there. Are these identical? Yes, they are. Which means that you. Oh, poo. <laughs> oh, no. I've done it wrong. Why is it always the novice ones that I get wrong? I, I know that I'm sort of auto unlocking the, the ones that are harder, but. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, let's try this again. You're definitely inside, aren't you? So that there. These are identical. Oh, I know what it is. I was right on that one. But... I slotted that into just the wrong notch. Rubbish. Announcements. Security tra Oh, is this the standard stuff? Quarterly update, pressing quite... Oh. Standard office rubbish emails. Okay, never mind. Now, I wonder whether this... Oh, <laughs> this is locked. Another locked goodie gumdrops. Uh, you're outside only. You're outside only. So, let's see. You go there, and you go there, meaning you two slot in on the inside... Uh, so you must go there. You there? Right, this is an empty chest. So, I suspect we have to store the confidential files here. I feel very dirty doing all this. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is, uh... I'm not sure this is sitting too well with our Asher, but, uh... Screw it, we're, we're here now, we're in the thick of it. Damage is done. Closing that door doesn't alert the guy. It does not. And I can slide away. Yay. Oh. Come on then, Barrett. Ah, uh, my friend. To the stars. Indeed. To the tower. I'm back, boss. Did it. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? It is indeed. Um, yeah, it's yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm so glad there's actually the level-headed approach here. It is done, but it hardly seems particularly fair. If you've got some morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. Mm. And the truth is, in this industry, this is about as fair as it gets. Laredo is far from squeaky clean. And believe me, we've got our own eyes out for their moves as well. Now... I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Uh, really? Uh, aren't I legally allowed some sort of break? <laughs> we expect our employees to self-manage when it comes to breaks. I recommend taking a moment whenever you feel that stress may be getting the better of you. Just be mindful of your time. This job requires a clear head. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm starting to prove myself now, no? It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. Uh-oh. And when I say creative, 
I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Right. So I'm going to need high persuasion, which I don't have, or the ability to pickpocket, which I don't have. Hmm, what do you need the keycard for? We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. Again, doesn't feel particularly great, but okay, fine, we'll go with it. Uh, any suggestions on getting this keycard? A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Hmm. Or, who knows, some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. Interesting. Just be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess, and cleanup isn't cheap. Very interesting. Uh, right. Let me think on it. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Interesting. So, I can wear a disguise for this. Hey, hanging around here isn't going to earn you any points, so you better get moving. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see why they didn't just get their techs on the job. <laughs> I won't tell Yuko you're challenging her team's abilities. Of course they could, but this is for a high-stakes, high-reward job we're looking at here. Any hint of a security breach and our target goes on lockdown. The keycard will guarantee nothing appears out of place. Okay, yeah, makes sense, I guess. So, either a security guard uniform or a suit, Barrett. Let me see what I've got in my inventory. I've got a funny feeling I have picked up a couple of security guard uniforms along the way, but I've got a feeling they might all be UC. Ranger deputy uniform. That might work, I guess. But then I kind of don't want to sully the uh, the Freestar Ranger badge by using it for um, corporate subterfuge. Hmm. Frontier attire, Ranger dual wear, um, leatherwear, syndicate suit, first merc. Yeah, we don't have anything on us. I'm pretty sure I've got a few different outfits stashed away aboard the Star Eagle, though. Okay, I'll just pop down to the uh, the bottom of the elevator just to see what we've got. Blue UC leather jumpsuit. Again, UC. It's not going to fly here, is it? Uh, sister crew uniform, prison scrubs, blue Neo City poncho. Ooh, I wonder if that counts as a suit. We've got a vested suit. Uh, corp Ooh, that would make a lot of sense here on Neon, actually. A corpo sleek suit. Uh, also security guard uniform, but what sort of security guard is that? Where did I, who did I get that from? I'm going to go with the uh, the Corpo sleek suit. Look as sleek as possible. So um, let's let's uh, find somewhere secluded. So we, hold on. Hello. Follow Hi. the rules or wind up like Nashar. Your choice. Oh crap! <laughs> I forgot about Nishar. He's still in the jail cell, isn't he? I still need to run an errand for him. Well, seeing as we're, I'm assuming that we need to, we need to be heading to the, um, the security station here on Neon, where Nishar is currently holed up. I guess I could run his little errand first, if I can, uh, if I can remember what the hell it was. Ah, here we are. Right, loose ends. I have Nishar's package. That's right, I need to deliver something to Yannick Legrand, don't I? Right, find the package in the sleep crate. Speak to Yannick Legrand. Okay. Well, why don't we uh, we go and take care of that very thing? So where might Yannick be? Is this veering off to the side by any chance? Uh, oh, Legrand's Liquors. <laughs> Names above the door. I suppose that's a bit of a giveaway. Oh, I have absolutely no idea. Oh. Paradiso. All this time we thought he was just being some miserable hermit on Aquila. You think he finally regrets disappearing on you all those years ago? No. I think he finally ran out of credits. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Well, no wonder you stopped. So this home. is exactly what it says on the tin. A um a liquor store. <laughs> nice. Well, very, very well stocked liquor store, I have to say. Uh so, uh hi, you presumably uh, are Legrand. Feel free to spend your credits. 
or get the hell out. Your dick. Huh. Yeah, you need something? I've got if something you're for here you. for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. Um, and sorry, blend is. The new gotta be new in neon because it's only the most popular drink in the city. You should try one. I guarantee that once you taste it, you'll be hooked. Why? <laughs> what addictive substances does it have within it? Uh, what exactly do you sell here then? Did you even bother to look at the shop's name before you stumbled in here? Le Grand's Liquors? No? Okay, let me help you out then. <laughs> so I'm Le Grand, that's me, and I sell liquor. You know, the stuff that gets you drunk? Ah, here I thought the name would explain it all. Well, now you've broken it down for me. Yeah, I, I, I kind of see how uh, how it all fits together now. Thanks for the insider knowledge. Right, okay. Um, Yeah, I'm not actually here for, uh, for a new drink on the market. Uh, okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. As soon as word gets out, Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Hmm. Okay, seems like it is popular on Neon then. Uh, unless he's not just full of it. So why is it so popular? What's so special about it? Probably because you can't buy it anywhere else except at my shop. And I mean anywhere. As in the entire settled system. Well, it's made specifically for it's you. It's got a special blend of secret ingredients that you can only find in neon. Hmm. Okay. Uh, love to know the secret ingredients. Um, interesting that we can pay two and a half thousand credits for the secret ingredients. Wonder if this blend maybe. Uh, Maybe has more significance a little bit later on. Okay, I'll bear this in mind. But what? No, I don't care about any of your damn secrets. <clears throat> Wait, do you really think I'm that stupid? Let's get one thing straight. The recipe for blend dies with me. And there's nothing anyone can do or say that will make me change my mind. If that's a letdown for you, then all I can say is... You better get used to disappointment. Dude, chill. I don't care about your recipe. In fact, Nishar sent me to have a word. Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. Do you need glasses? I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Uh, okay. Is this how you treat someone trying to help you out? Well, Nesher wouldn't work with it. Huh, unless he had no choice. What is this about? Um, I wish I knew, but it's, <laughs> it's about three months since I spoke to him. Uh, so he told me to deliver this and to tell you that he's loyal. Oh, really? Huh, fascinating. So Nesher came through. Huh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the credit. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. Cool. Oh, that's an awful lot of credits. Nice. Um, Yeah, he was worried that you'd ruin him, so go easy on him. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Uh-oh. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's Blend. Yeah, you already mentioned. It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. Uh, okay. Intriguing. What sort of work are we talking about? Um, you're offering me a job on the spot. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> it seems to be the trend right here. You deliver the package for our good friend Nishar, 
you get things done, and I just got a feeling about you. Plus, need to act fast before everything goes to hell. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling there's a catch on the way. Ah, and smart. I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And oh, Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astral Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, it's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. Hmm. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. I don't mind taking part in the last bit. Uh, what do you know about Bayou, anyway? This man thinks he owns Neon. The only player on the board. But he is too good to look in the gutters where the real people live. So Yannick can carve out his own kingdom and screw Bayou. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I had no idea what you're actually mixed up with here, especially in producing this, uh, this blend. Now you do. So I have a proposal, yes? Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes, but it'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix mm. Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. <sighs> I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't <laughs> care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. Right. So, uh, I, I feel like I've gone from um, one shadier organization to one even shadier individual. Okay, so what's the deal with Felix? Uh, Felix. Felix is a mess. Samples too much of his own wares, understand? He's been getting worse. And the danger to the whole operation. Gotcha. Best if he just goes away. Liability. Right, got it. Um, alive or dead, that's pretty cold. Yeah, it is a bit. Eh, it is called delegation. You make the right call, yes? Just tell us where to look for Felix. We'll figure it out. Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Hmm. Okay. Intriguing. We need to visit Epside before too long anyway. We've got a couple of uh, couple of little jobs that we need to take care of there. Uh, whilst I'm here, Yannick... Give Felix my regards. Ah! Uh, Saburo has a business opportunity. Um, here's a flyer that explains. Uh, eh, whatever. Just hand it over. I'll look at it on my own time. Nice. That's one of them actually gone. <laughs> Um, ever thought of sending Blend outside of Neon? Well, that's obviously not going to happen, seeing as it contains Aurora. Um, okay, we can check in with this guy a little bit later. Sure you don't want some extra Blend for the road? Uh, take it easy. <laughs> I am kind of tempted to give it a try. Carbonated alcoholic beverage blended with caffeine and a potent secret ingredient. Slows time by 20% for 20 seconds, plus 75 damage resistance and minus 22% O2 recovery. Okay. Uh, Keep forgetting. There it is, no, on Okay. Let's... Let's just for now pay a visit to the security office, if I can remember where in the world it is. Oh, the security office, I think, down... Uh, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> I think I was gonna, about to say, it's down towards the Ryujin Tower. Uh, no. Here it is, big old sign that says Neon Security HQ. So let's dip in. See if we can uh, see if we can give any sort of update to Nashar before we go and track down the security chief. And Nashar, here he is. I was finally turning things around too. Uh, do you think I could trust Yannick? No. I mean, yes. Yannick's not above swindling tourists that come through. But he stand up to his people. Well, as long as you do your job right. I guess it's complicated. 
but Yannick's always been good to me. Um, hmm, you say that. Uh, right, anything more to the story of how you got arrested in here? I swear the guards were looking for me. It wasn't some random pinch. But I don't know. All of this. A lot to take in. Hmm. All right, catch you later, Nisha. Uh, right, so it looks like there's no more to pursue with him. But I have a security chief that I need to track down. Let's get our... Uh, let's see, where's it going to be? Let's get our... Here we go. Mission updated again. So, oh, hold on. Travel to... Oh, wait. Oh, if I completely misread this, I need to travel to Hope Tech on Polvo in the Valo system to obtain a security key card. Oh, I thought it was Neon Security. If I want the security chief to speak to me, I should wear a suit or a security uniform. I could buy a suit from Ito in the Ryujin Tower lobby. Okay. Uh, well, let's see now. Did I actually put a suit on in the end? I don't think I actually got changed. And for some reason, the... Uh, Screen isn't... Here we go. That's better. Uh, it was Corpo Sleek Suit. Lovely. Huh. Right. Looks like we're heading to... Uh, heading to Valor. Back on Polvo. Um, the place is still open at the moment. It hasn't had to close its doors since uh, Ron Hope met an unfortunate <clears throat> end. So, looks like the Seems security like office... Spring up out of nowhere. But it is really hopping, isn't it? Not sure I'd call it hopping, Barrett. <laughs> I think your definition of that might vary slightly to mine. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! Uh oh! Oh dear. Oh, I'm, I'm still not liked, apparently. Right. Crap. Um. <gasps> Barrett's called in a double Barrett! Uh. This feels a bit. <laughs> this feels a little this bit um unfair, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to attack you. Don't it, Barry, would you take care of this lady for me, please? Would you mind? Ha! I've done this a thousand <laughs> times. Sure. I've got some time to kill. I, as silly as it sounds, huh? I kinda don't Love want it. to open fire on anyone in here because I've got a funny feeling it might screw up the uh, the objective that I'm on at the minute. So I, I kinda need Barrett to take her down for me. Um, in fact, I've got a plan. <laughs> I don't know whether it's a cunning plan, but it's a plan nevertheless. Wait, hold on. Interesting that some of security's not actually bothered about me. Uh, right, anyway. Here we go. Lovely. You can't get me now. Uh, Barrett, would, would you mind... Would you mind stepping in to, uh... Teach this lady the air of her ways? You aren't ready for this, but I am. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling there could be some time. Seems clear. Well, back to business. Uh, I guess... I'm not entirely convinced that she's leaving me alone, but, uh... What? I was going for the soft landing of landing on the sofa. Instead, I've just broken my, uh, my ankles on the wooden banister. Hey-ho. So, we've still got two, we've still got two enemies on the corona market. Could he come drops? Where am I headed? Through here, apparently. Retrieve the security key card. Okay. Ah, now we've got a robot there. Is the robot going to take I'm offense at my, uh, bushes. presence? Might be easier to get with this one. Looks. Oh God. Yeah, this guy doesn't like me apparently. And he's got a gun again. Oh, I love that Barrett's got that power. That's super cool. Come back here, Hope Town Security, and feel the wrath of the double Barrett shotgun. It would have been hilarious if they had shotguns. <sighs> right. Anyway, um, I you carry on fending off the uh, the angry security man. I'm going to see if I can't track down where this objective is actually leading me to. I love that uh, I love that people are still sprinting around in terror. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Where are you going? <laughs> You're in a hurry to get somewhere. Ah. Is this the security office, I wonder? Who are you? Are you a customer? Benny St. James. Oh, no, you're the ship designer. That you came all the way down from your office just to get involved in a firefight. Oh, hello. Someone worth paying attention to. Apparently you did. So sure, sure, Mike. So. Ah, I stepped in here before, didn't I, I think? 
Oh, are you the security chief? Hello there. Are you sure you belong here? Uh, probably not, but I'm in a very expensive suit. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm very important and wealthy. Um, I'd like to speak to you about your security keycard in your back pocket, if you don't mind. That is a pretty huge favor, especially coming from someone I don't even know. Um, but I am very important. <laughs> don't have time for details, but it's an emergency. Uh, my job is on the line here. I really need this favor. Uh, yeah, n no time to explain. Just, just, just please trust me. I'm, I'm very important and I have a very expensive suit. I'm not sure what kind of emergency would require me to hand over a security key card to a citizen. Uh, oh dear, we're going for the persuasion. Let's talk this over. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. That's terribly sad. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, only four persuasions. That's not bad. But, oh god. The plus three is very difficult. Uh, oh, I'm not leaving until you give me what I want, young man. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Uh, oh, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't so important. Maybe I can make an exception. All right, take it. But you better be quick. There's a good lad. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm just going to dodge and weave through the guards that are trying to kill me. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the gunfire's carrying on by the sounds of it. <laughs> Don't look now, Barrett, but someone's, uh, someone's behind you waving a gun. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's see what Imogen's got us doing next. Uh, sorry, can excuse me. You? Yeah, you can move, please, Rafik, if you don't mind. Hello, boss. Hey there. Got that key card for me? I have indeed. And there wasn't a single complication apart from the guards trying to kill me. Um, Yeah, do you think I really would have returned to you if I hadn't actually acquired it? Well, you work here, don't you? So, yeah, you probably would. All right, she's got me there. Uh, yeah, uh, here's the key card. Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch. And your timing couldn't be better. She didn't ask me how it went, thank God. <laughs> um, still questioning the legality of this job. That's really going to score brownie points, isn't it? Uh, always ready to screw over the competition. Um, yeah, I, this whole sort of corporate wet work stuff is uh, all well and good, but yeah, it's something that Asher doesn't feel completely at ease with. I'm still kind of hoping that this story arc lets us go down a sort of tear it apart from the inside out sort of situation, but we'll see how it pans out. But yeah, I am questioning the, the legality and the ethics of what we're doing. You may as well question the entire corporate world at that point. Just think of what we do here as standard business practices. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. No. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Oh, okay. So, I can't jump on stage and sing my heart out to ancient Earth music? Bummer. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll be on my best behavior. Next time, Baron. See? Serious mode activated. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. So, what's the significance of the Astral Lounge? If you haven't already heard the name Benjamin Bayou... Oh, I have. ...you'd better get familiar. The man runs Neon and has ties to anything significant here, including Ryujin. The Trade Tower is his baby, and the Astral Lounge is the heart and soul. You do anything to scar that and make a scene, I guarantee it'll come back to haunt us. Ooh. Into the lion's den, then. Exactly. And since you seem to be familiar with him, you probably know how much we don't like to upset him. Yeah, I get that. Uh, let's see, we've got a diplomacy option. When it comes to influencing people, I'm the best you've got. Well, I mean, above average. I was hoping you'd feel that way. We much prefer the light touch of conversation to the heavy-handedness of threats when we can. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Oh, so is this going to be in those VIP booths upstairs, I guess? So, Infinity and Quantum, um, what are these companies? I think I've heard the names in passing, but I've no idea what they do. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. 
They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. Ah. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. I think Quantum Infinity might also be the company that uh, manufacture the desktop terminals that I've seen around. Right. Yeah, sounds like someone needs to be fired. It's already been taken care of. All you need to worry about is the job at hand. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. Mm. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Oh, interesting. We've got to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of digging, a little bit of research. Very cool. Okay. Um. So, can you give me like the the high level overview of these dossiers? I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception both of her and quantum synergies. Okay. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she is drawn to innovation and quality. Uh, she's into innovation and quality. She should be working here. Um, yeah, great. I love dealing with self-absorbed folks. Zola may be self-absorbed and superficial, but she's also smart. Her drive to keep both her name and quantum synergies in a positive spotlight have led to several innovations in ship OS software. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Hmm. So we've got to actually dig the dirt of what, uh, what one thing is against the other. Okay. Uh, right. I think that's about all we've got time for for this time. So Imogen, if you hold that thought, we'll pick this up very soon. But guys, thank you very much for joining me. We're going to continue our little briefing with the boss, and then uh, it's time for a little bit of uh, corporate naughtiness. But for now, if you'd like to leave a like, or you care to leave a comment, pop those in the usual spots down below. They're all appreciated. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.